the record button on. Oh yeah. This used to be the old horse track. See? Mm -hmm. It's like what's left of it. <laughs> Looks like bluegill right there going. Mm -hmm. All right. You can start with this. Do you think I'm here? If I'm like. Yeah, however, I mean, set this up. Throw this little top water. I don't, I don't remember how deep it is or anything like that, but. Just once you get your camera set up, chuck that out and twitch, twitch, drag, you know. Try the. Pop water first and just make my way around. I used to catch them over there. Over on that side, like down a little ways. If you want to. Finally cut a little one. That's definitely a turd. and they'd be a little bigger than that. Another turd. Two little ones. Yeah, but they're both small. Better one. I mean, better than the last two.
There used to be some giants in here. 20 inch, four or five pounders. Never. That's a little better. There's another one. That's a little better fish. They keep getting a little bigger. Yeah, that's not bad. That's number five. The longest one, but he, he wasn't very fat. Nothing. What? Nothing. No. Huh? walk up along that side it's a little deeper up there I caught five but there was uh, there was only one that was maybe 14 inches but it was skinny the smaller ones that were around 12 inches were fat I'm gonna grab my uh, crankbait and the worm like that and drag it around a little bit So maybe the red shad was the, oh, that's not horrible. Definitely not big. Take the hook out. It's a little tough here. Let me get them so. They just stick in there. All right, hold it up. caught two fish and you didn't have your camera down there. I had a pointing cord. These they would have at least been able to see whenever the thing jumped. So close enough, right?
I gotta grab this battery out of here. Another one? Yep. Nice. That's not the same fish. Those hooks really stick in there. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, wow. He did not. That was pitiful. <laughs> he jumped. He jumped out of. Oh, wow. That splash. Hey. <laughs> he made it. Oh, wow. He did. Holy crap. He just like, took a chunk out of it. See? Nom nom nom. Just get I get that every time I fish. It's called bass thumb. If you that's a sign that you've you've caught a lot of fish in a day. There's a little better one. That's that's a little better fish there. Compared to some of the other ones. I'm on two. You got it? Double. Yeah. Nice. Why didn't I bring my pliers? Is that a nice one? not that big he's just kind of fat hey what's up guys so doing something a little different today I have my son Nate with me say hi hi we decided to come to this pond and do a little 1v1 fishing challenge we got here after 7 yeah start of vision probably it's 7 30 figure we go two and a half hours the, the most catches win. I did pretty good to start with. Caught five on a top water and then you ended up starting to catch them on a like a little four inch Texas rig power worm and then you ended up catching four. Five. Wait four and then they caught four and then it was like a while later you caught your fifth one and then right then I caught I hooked my sixth one which we doubled mm -hmm. was kind of cool but we ended up six to five. But you did good, you should probably fish more often. He doesn't come on a boat with me much because- You stay there for like- All day. Yeah, literally all day and into the night. So, but I got him out here and it, it was a fun morning. It's, I grew up fishing this, uh, this pond. It's been 20 years, probably 20 years I'd say since I fished it. There used to be some really nice ones in here. I think the biggest one I caught was close 15. And we might come back and, and do it again. Maybe we'll try it out an evening sometime and see what happens mm -hmm. then. So, anything else you want to add? You have fun? Yeah. You like the 1v1 challenge? Yeah. Do you think you're going to catch that many? No. All right. I thought I'd catch like two at best. 
Okay, I'll see you in the next one.